Everybody seems to know the Rubik's Cube in the United States, uh, but a lot of people didn't realize that uh, it's a Hungarian invention. It's basically, it was created by a Hungarian teacher in the School of Applied Arts, and he was trying to come up with a concept of uh, three-dimensional objects uh, for students who had to draw things. And then he came up with the idea of a cube uh, that can be rotated in all three dimensions, uh, in all three directions, I should say. And first, he came up with a concept uh, made of uh, a cube made of wood. And uh, of course, uh, it took him months and uh, years to, to uh, perfect uh, the, the design and then to create a uh, proto project. And then when he uh, brought it, uh, the idea to a manufacturer, they said first that it cannot be built because if the sides of the cube can be rotated to all three directions, there's nothing to hold the cube together. So it is really a uh, magical thing. It was called Magic, magic Cube in Hungary. And the uh, exciting or somewhat um, frustrating so story about the production of the cube was that uh, uh, could not be mass produced in Hungary on a level. Uh, uh, of course, it was internationally acclaimed and won a lot of prizes, but it could not be mass produced in Hungary at that time on a level that the American uh, uh, distributors wanted. So uh, Rubik had to uh, agree to an international production and he sold the license to produce it. And thus Rubik's Cube is produced now in the United States, in Canada, and also the Chinese uh, uh, mass produce it and it is one of the single most successful uh, products, uh, designs and in inventions ever made by a Hungarian. Mr. Rubik is still alive and working in Hungary in, a, in, a, in an architectural firm and he came up with several dozen other inventions, uh, some of them are also famous and also there were great variety of offsprings of the Rubik's Cube. You can also buy now an electronic version, an electronic Rubik's Cube, which you actually have to touch and the colors change on the sides. And there were lots of other uh, inventions uh, which continue to amaze the general public and we are very proud to have him as a Hungarian who uh, succeeded in, in Hungary with his invention. The exciting thing about the Rubik's Cube is that uh, all cubes in any situation, in any uh, configuration, can be solved in 22 steps. That means uh, that the fastest uh, cubists, as they are called, the world champions, can solve uh, any uh, cube from any configuration in less than seven seconds. And there are international competitions for, uh, uh, for cubists. Uh, some of them can uh, solve the cube with their legs, with their toes. Uh, some of them can do it uh, with one hand, like this. It's amazing and it's, uh, it's a real talent. And uh, some of them, the real talented uh, ones, can solve the cube uh, blindfolded. That means that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they have three different techniques of solving the cube. And those techniques are uh, uh, purely theoretical, which means that these cubists can uh, solve the cubes in their heads. And what they basically do is that they look at the cube from every side, from every six sides. They memorize the situation, the configuration of the cube, and they memorize the 22 steps they need to make. And then they basically close their eyes or they are blindfolded, and they just do the different steps in a very short manner. Even, even uh, um, world, champions, champ world champions can even solve the cube one-handed, blindfolded, in less than a minute. So it's, it's really amazing and I hope every, uh, everybody has a cube at home.